So, um, I, one bond substitute is not appropriate uh, for all indication cases. Uh, we have to consider first the patient, the mouth, the teeth, and the sides. Uh, there are some patients who refuse xenograft granules because uh, they don't want to have animal derivate in their mouth, for example. Therefore, we have to choose a synthetic substitute. For different side defects, we can choose a different biomaterials based on the indications. And it's important to have an extensive portfolio for these reasons, to choose an appropriate and tailored treatment for each patient in any situation. So, um, if the patient accepts the use of any biomaterials for this situation, we can choose Xenograph to maintain the volume or if need, for example, to have a slow resorption uh, when we have a non-contentative defect. In a partial contentative defect, we can choose Allograph to keep resorption pattern under control. Um, when we know that the only the clot is not sufficient for a regenerative approach, well, we can choose to modify the regenerative potential of the site with the use of different biomaterials based on the defect characteristics. Finally, to avoid a second surgery, um, we can opt for 3D membrane like mucoderm instead of connect tissue harvesting, having seen a very good result. Compared to 10 years ago, the patient want more information about therapy. And now with digital dentistry, we can put the patient at the same level of understanding because uh, we can visualize the final outcome of the screen. With more detailed clinical information, we have the opportunity to be more accurate in therapy. And today, clinicians can improve their performance using software, for example, codagnostics, which maximize studying exactly what type of implants or surgical technique to use. Also, uh, Strauma Roxolis Lactive Implants enable us to optimize the performance at implant level and they can change our decision parameters with the aim of reducing invasiveness and the endogain allows us to speed up the healing. So basically today we can give our patients minimal invasive treatment and an excellent and fast clinical result which is what they expect now. Amdogain is a gel of NML matrix derivative proteins and it's been well documented over the last 20 years. The benefit of Amdogain is powerful biological effect and histological study have detected if formation of a new periodontal complex. And when applied in a periodontal pocket, the clinical attachment level improves as described by Myron in 2016. The principal characteristics is to improve and speed up the wound healing. And when we perform a scaling root planning, the aim of the procedure is to make the root surface smooth and ready to accept a new attachment level of the tissue. And endogen improves this biological event. This is valid for surgical procedure, especially for minimal invasive periodontal surgery were well described by Cortellini and Tonetti in 2007-2009, as well as non-surgical procedure without, uh, without flap. Absolutely. Uh, um, once the diagnosis has been made and the treatment plan has been set, the hygienist can perform the causal therapy with non-surgical approach using endogen procedure. Studies have been performed on effectiveness of minim minimal invasive non-surgical periodontal therapy aimed to achieving a complete subgenitive environment with minimal tissue trauma. Endogame has an antimicrobial effect on periodontal pathogen in addition to non-surgical approach, accelerating the healing and giving advantage during non-surgical periodontal therapy. But I remember the fundamental point is that the procedure is performed with a magnify system. Yes, in collaboration with Professor Fabrizio Guerra and the Sapienza University of Rome, we are following a research entitled Non-Surgical Treatment of Periodontal Pocket in Combination with Animal Matrix. The uh, preliminary result will be the aim of a thesis of a dental agent student next autumn. Furthermore, we have studied Emdogain 
evaluating the healing speed of soft tissue after surgery. And in this case, we first data shows that the application of endogain on surgical wound accelerates the healing about by, by two weeks. Uh, and uh, it's a good chance for us and for patients.